Always with the eating, Patrick. Mm. Hello, and welcome to another My Sims. This is Blala. As we all should know by now, Blala. Hello, Blala. Right, so today we are completing the very last Star One level sim, Sir Vincent Skullfinder. That's who we will be completing today. We shall uh, hope that he's in the hotel straight away. If not, we can just... Um, keep the day cycling until he does turn up but I'm sure he will be there we shall move him in complete him and then that's all the star level ones and in the next episode we can get started on the star level twos very exciting in star level twos not only do we have a selection of commercial sims but there is also loads of towny sims to get through so very exciting things ahead let's go to the hotel and see birdie and hopefully Sir Vincent Skullfinder will be there. Sounds like some sort of Skullfinder. Sounds like some sort of architect. Uh, not architect. That's just silly. <laughs> hey pal, guess what? You've done such a good job setting up these great businesses that more people want to move into Blarmania. Thanks buddy. Townies will start appearing in the hotel now. Townies will want you to build them a house and decorate it in their favourite style. You'll meet spooky townies, geeky townies and others. Moving in townies gives you points towards the next star level. Also, if you give them lots of stuff in their style, they can become your best friends and give you special rewards. Oh dear, it's going on a bit, isn't it? Your improvements to the town have been so great that the train has resumed service between Blarmania and the gardens. Head over to the train station and use the ticket machine to start your journey. If you don't know where the train station is, use your map to help you. So that's an awful lot of... Uh, ooh. That's an awful lot of um, star level uh, 2 information. Um, but we are just after that last star level 1. <gasps> Vincent Vector, he is my favourite, well, one of my favourite star level twos. His arcade is great. He introduces televisions and uh, computer games, arcade machines. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Uh, right, so we have a couple of townies here, Maria and um, I forget her name, is it Rhonda? Yes. So, he's not here today. I know that he is a uh, spooky sim, and I didn't mean architect, I meant like archaeologist, you know, like digs up bones type thing. So what we have to keep doing now is cycling through the days until he turns up. I may edit this for you guys to make it quick. Day five, and there he is. Woohoohoo! He's finally here. Sir Vincent, that's the guy on this. Travis and Rhonda. Okay, took five days, but here he is. Oh, amazing, let's talk to him right away. <laughs> Greetings, I am Sir Vincent Skullfinder. I am an academic, a scholar, a lover of all things deceased. Great. So, uh, Violet will probably get on well with this guy. Let's ask him to move in. Hmm. Welcome to Plumania. Join us. Join us. An interesting proposal, which I graciously accept. I'll be here while you're building my museum. <gasps> museum. We're getting a little bit cultural here in Plumania. Right. Let's get started. Museum definitely needs to be in the town centre. Everything. This will be the last plot in the town centre now. Move in, Sim. Let's see, Sir Vincent. Exciting. Ooh, look at all the stuff we've got going on here. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, but the problem is, is that we've got oh statues. Statue we've got two, two statues. Yeah, and we've got a mm, 
so it definitely needs to be taller so that we can get that on there. Oh, but I like those. What else could the statues go on? I mean, it'd be weird to have secondary pillars, I think. Oh, or would it? Maybe if we move that back. What about... It's a little bit strange. Oops, what have I done? Little bit strange. That. That. Oh! Look at him. It's, it's quite large, isn't he? I think we might have to. Oh, he was right up there. Oh, we could put them up there. Ah! Uh, do I want them up there? Hmm. <laughs> this is. This uh, is <laughs> more complicated than I was expecting. Um, I seriously can't make up my mind. This is no good. Why can't I make up my mind? Uh, that's not too bad, though, is it? I mean, that's all right. But I feel like I want to get s statues in. But I think we'll have to leave the dinosaur off, and we'll have two of those, two of those guys. Yes. Oh, look, we've got we've got pillars. Oh, we have to use the pillars, right? Oof, yeah. Adding a spooky element to Blarmania now. We're going for it. And uh, how is it looking there? I c it's not going in there. It's having none of that. But we can have them up here. Ooh. Mmm, rather. Ooh. Put them up there. Oh yeah. What about? What does it? It's. Oh, it really doesn't want to go in there. That's a shame, isn't it? Oh, we could even put them up there. How high can you go? How high can you go? How high can you go? Right off the screen. <laughs> can I put another floor on? Can I? No. Okay, so it's two floors, but you can pile crap on it up into the heavens. Right. So some windows. 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 Yes, yes. We like windows. Bright and airy. Bright and airy. Not that the goths probably spooky are into bright and airy. <laughs> oh, but I, I... Yeah, it's pretty good. Not too shabby. Let's take a look here. Uh, oh, there's quite a lot of studious. But more spooky than studious. What stuff here is? Is that... I don't know. Oh, yes, yeah, see, look, that roof is studious. Mm, okay. <gasps> Welcome, sure. Sir Vincent. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Museum. <laughs> Ah, oh, culture, culture, culture. Oh. Let's see. Mm. Let's check him out. Searching for the past to welcome to my museum. Thank you. So, yes, this needs to be filled with exhibits, methinks. And then, is this his living quarters? No. So, St. Vincent has no living quarters. Well,. I may have to change that. You can't... Alright. Shouting at me won't get it done any faster. Yeah, we may have to actually move this stuff into the main area and make this his living quarters, I, I, do, I do think. God, he's driving me nuts. Right, let's check out him in uh, check him out in the relationships book what have we got here so oh, it's getting nice and packed isn't it look soon we'll be on to the next page ah the skull finder museum sir vincent skull finder was the driving force behind every major archaeological find of the last 50 years how old is he according to his uh uh resume I'm just trying to, I'm now trying to think, how old is he? Because he doesn't look like he's been working for 50 years, does he? I mean, he doesn't look like he's in his 70s. Um, that's craziness. Um, so, looking good for his age, I think. 
The most macabre of these artifacts were very, oh I've lost where I was, very graciously donated by Skullfinder to find himself for display in his Skullfinder museum. In his quest for bones, masks and stones, Sir Vincent has allegedly explored haunted castles, cursed tombs and the dark side of the moon. <laughs> like it. For more of his dubious adventures, please refer to his resume, which is over 300 pages long. Ooh, I think I'll give that read a skip. Right, okay, so clearly interest is spooky and studious, so he likes studious as well. Ah, okay, doesn't like cute. Hmm, I, do you know, I think he would get on well with, um, with Violet. Lovely. Right, clearly you want stuff to happen, like, right now. Let's get on with it then. Uh, ooh, dust fossils. I'm up for that. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Have, I, have I done a good job? Is that alright? Ah, he doesn't care. Let's have chats. Okay, I need some exhibits for my museum. You're not wrong. Perhaps you could forge me some. Sculptures. One with eight deadwood and one with eight stone. Ha. Huh. Tricky. Uh -huh. We have to come up with our very uh -huh. own sculptures. Uh -huh. Make them up. Well, I was going to make podiums for them, but it seems like we might already have the podiums. Just to make it tricky. Right. <laughs> <gasps> Not too difficult at all. What in what have we got in the way of twenty-seven of those? Lovely. And then stone thirty-seven. Okay, so at least we don't have to go prospecting or anything. We can get down to this rather complicated task. Uh hmm. Right. Um work on a task, please. I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with stone. Um, yes. Okay. Can't really do a pentagram or anything like that, can we? Um, mm, but would that be too big for this? No, that should just fit on there. Yeah, but we could probably. We could probably make some sort of, I don't know what, what you would call it, S some sort of artifacty, pentagrammy. Might be able to use those. Um, uh, uh, mm, mm, uh, tricky. This is tough. This is really tricky. Um. can't make like a star shape. I think there is eventually a star essence but we don't have that right now because a star essence would would do the trick wouldn't it but what have we got in the way of nothing like that going on I suppose. Oh I've only got one thorn. Urgh. So we could have that in four quarters. Mm -hmm. that go? That might go in the very centre though, which is really annoying me. So we could have Wheel of Fortune! Uh, right. So all we have to do is pretend, for example, that there are like star constellations painted on it and if we had swirly bits we might be able to make it a bit more exciting. Uh, I'm not sure what that would, what we would call it. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Am I happy with this? I'm not 
not sure. It reminds me of... I'm not sure if it reminds me of anything, to be honest. But I can't make a pentagram or anything, so... <laughs> so I've made this monstrosity. Anyway, we're going to paint it with stone. I feel like each one of these should be taking advantage of the four different looks. Uh, it could sit on a stone base. Um... which is which that one looks different doesn't it right so we've satisfied the stone thing so maybe we could do something we can make this one like a thorn Oops, so it's just a different color um maybe we could get a bit of spooky in there oh. maybe i don't know uh let's, pick, let's get some sad Whatever it is, it is complete. Let's go with it. Um, and then we also need dead wood one. Hmm. Just clear out my backpack. Hmm. Now there's a part of me that thinks it might be great, being that he is skull finder. If we actually do put. A make it a skull thing so maybe we just may need to make a little additional stand for it that goes on the podium you know like um, hmm, uh, like a head on a stick it's a pack of information this exhibit is this that and the other um, well, what could we paint that in? Hmm. Nothing really has information on it, does it? Um, sort of writing, looking stuff, or not that we have anyway. Oh, yeah, look, uh, uh, um, if we build with those crown essences, I seem to remember them being huge. Look at that! Isn't that massive? That it's just so oversized. Right. So a little plaque that we're not quite sure. He doesn't. No, he doesn't like cubes. So that would be all right. That that would be all right. Okay. In we go, and we're going to have a big change in here. Oh, yeah, because this is no good. You can't. This is just no good at all, is it? Right, come on you. Right. Big changes afoot. First of all. First of all. We go oh my. Let's move in this huge one here. Maybe stick that. Uh okay, there. Benches to look at exhibits. <laughs> Maybe we just pop that in the middle of the room for now. Um, oh, some wall exhibits are these? Yeah, probably. So this just frees up this room so that one day we can give him... If we actually remove the pillars, because it will be private residence. Huh. One day it will be private residence for you. So, let's check out his decoratives. Yes, yes, he's probably got loads. Look, Museum Aztec Calendar. Ah, oh, that was the sort of thing I was going with, the star constellations and things. Uh, maybe we could reduce the windows a little bit. Seem to have lots of windows. Um, and we want to get that in there. Oh, mm. it's huge. It's huge. Oh, he does like it. Let's go up screen. Mm, interesting. I'm trying to work what's work out what's on it, but definitely a strange face going on there. And it looks like these are like eating this guy's ears. Can you, can you see? Yeah. Can you see that? Angry eyes, big mouth. 
this is the ears, this face here, and the eyes and the eyebrows and stuff. And he seems quite happy about it. That these guys here are eating his ears. Yep, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Right. Museum Aztec statue. I think. Do we have. Oh, we don't. Oh, God. These controls. God. EA, seriously. Jesus. Uh, let's put that there. Woohoohoo! Um, oh, is that another. Oh, the museum column, that is. We have our museum big wrecks in place. Oh, and we also have the museum blue mask. Uh, the museum raptor we have are uh, the red mask. That is the one that was up here. Yes, 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 yeah. Good. The museum windows, yes. Oh, look, Sim Tut. I like it. Like it. Oh, yes. Oh, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. <laughs> okay, what else have we got? Oh, terracotta vase. That will need its own podium at some point, for sure. Oh, look, and then we can velvet rope off <laughs> exhibits. Oh, this will be great. So we need one day when we're making a perfect town, we'll put glass cases over these. Oh, it'll be fantastic. It will be fantastic. Um, anyway, let's get... Oh, God, I need to tidy this up. So here's this sculpture very weird um, I'm not sure about this he's quite pleased good and then the other one not so bad at all let's hope it all fits oh no look I've made it so the plaque goes oh and it oh no well that needs fixing doesn't it that's that's terrible fantastic these sculptures are both gruesome and authentic looking <laughs> good I'm not sure this is authentic looking at all but I mean if I'd made it in the gold um, and stuff like that maybe it would look a little better and this is very poorly made I need to go back and rethink that for sure so Vincent has given you a new chair blueprint it's covered in dirt oh thanks mm -hmm. lovely He's dug it up from somewhere then yeah right oh yeah I'm not surprised you're tired what else would you like us to make Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. The Zarka. You can work. Hmm. I shall need an office to continue my gruesome studies. A haunted office. So we're going to need. Uh, so we get. Oh, the desk blueprint. That's what I want to put my PC on in my living room. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, which needs seven dark essences. And he also wants a chair. Hmm with five deadwood essences so a desk and chair yes so for his office so these will go in his new private quarters we've created for him <laughs> yes i think it they will be nice in here for his new private quarters yes it's going to happen right um Oh, do we still have enough of the essences? 17. Mm, we are getting low. We are getting low. Maybe we should just go and grab... Go and grab some more. Hmm. We should definitely grab some more. So what we're going to do... Let's kill a bunch of trees. Oh, look at all the goodies. Right, so we shall start by the yellow blossom, okay, uh, and well, let me fertilise it again, let's go and fertilise this one, lovely, and then we'll fertilise this one again, so we're just going to kill off a bunch of trees and shrubs, <laughs> Yes. Chop this down. Lots. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Loads. Cool, that'll do us for a little while, I think. Stomp these out. And then, as usual, 
What, what is the rule? Remove a tree, put one in its place. Water that. Mm. Pretty. She looks like she's having a lot of fun when she drowns the sapling. The glee on her face. Yeah! I drowned the sapling! Hmm. Do we like. Or maybe the darker. Oh, I quite like that. Oh, I think that's very fancy. What I might do, though, is put some. Can we put some arms on it, maybe? Shall we see? Some arms. Do that. make it probably the arms a bit tall unless we put it through the sensor it doesn't want that does it here we go here we go Ooh. yeah he likes that yes Good, good. A man could fit a lot of skulls in that desk. Exceptional work, Blala. Sir Vincent unearthed a desk blueprint in one of his recent excavations. It is now yours. Okay. Mm. Mm. That is great. Mm. Desk blueprints have been a desire. They have been a desire. So, uh, but oh, we just left. Rude. Just left. Ooh, blown bubbles for. Oh, they're looking at the exhibits. Well, she's reading. It's, uh, I've heard this is a a raptor. Uh, Patrick, it's raptor. Some sort of Homo sapien type thing. Mm. Pot. Some terrible exhibit. Where has he gone? They're all leaving. Is it night time? No. Oh, he's back. Mm. Oh, I like it. I like it. Well, I'm going to take it. I need to fix it. I'm. I'm really sorry. I am really sorry. And, in fact, I might also steal that. <laughs> Very unhappy indeed. We need something to put this pot on, don't we? Really. So sorry. But I'm taking the lot. So, new task. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll fix it. Bizarka, you can blur. Curses. The movers say they lost my spooky sarcophagus. That was my favourite exhibit. So he wants 20 scary and 10 stone for this sarcophagus. Hmm. Interesting blueprint. Uh -huh. Right then. Well, that's a lot of scary. Look, we've only got 13. There's no Cassandra around, so I think what we might do is pay Violet a visit. Because you can get scary from her sometimes by interacting and uh, some nice fun, I've noticed. And, uh, oh yes, what I did do is I did come back and put the thorn wallpaper up. She loves it. Yes, she does. So, let's be nice. I need scary essences. Please don't give me sad. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Yes, this is exactly what we need. Yeah, 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 yeah. And those, there, yeah, those. Ah. Plenty. A bit too many, actually. Was it too, too many? Oh, that's great. So we'll just make all of these scary. 
We should probably alternate them a little bit. Uh, should I don't know if green is quite right, is it? For this. The purple is great. Well, it has to be the green, so we'll alternate between those. Lots of sorting out to do, actually. My god, where is that sarcophagus going to go? This place is so crowded. So crowded. I think we may get rid of those windows all together. Um, let's pop these in your room for now. I've just got to make plenty, plenty of room. Although... Hmm, although... The sarcophagus would work well there. With stuff on the wall, maybe? Let's move this out of the way. And let's get our sarcophagus. Ooh, brilliant! I can't tell it from the original, and neither will my patrons. The Skull Fighter Museum is finally complete! Thanks to you, Blala. And he's given us the Aztec statue decora uh, decorative. He's not quite sure where the inspected by number 14 sticker came from. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. That's looking pretty spiffing. Uh, is it not? Can we get in some more exhibits with it? Uh, how about... Uh, oh. So big. That's what she said. Yes. Oh, he, he does want a bed. I think that is a sterling idea because we have now completed all the tasks for Sir Vincent Skullfinder. But we are just friends with him. It is time to best friend him. And I was thinking a bed. And clearly that's what he wants. Should we have a chat with him? Boozy. Boozy Bronco. Oh. Oh, he seems quite angry with you. Oh, Blala, it's horrible. I need a bed. Can you get me one for me? He seems quite angry about it. Fine. We will get you a bed. Worry not. I'm back. Hello? Sir Vincent? Uh, oh. We've become part of your exhibits. Okay. So. A bed. Put it. Nah. There is fine. <laughs> um, shall we paint this as something not so in your face, maybe? Mm. Something a little bit more suited for the man. Um. It's a little bit samey, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's just too much. It's just too much. Does it not do things to your do things to your eyes? It, it does do things to my eyes. For sure. Oh, it's a little bit boring, but hey ho. It helps burst uh, his interest. And yes, look. Blala, you've done so much for my museum. I think what I'm feeling is called gratitude. What's that expression people use? Ah, yes. Thank you. Do you know, I think he might be the first one who has outwardly just said thank you. I think he is. Sir Vincent suit is now available in your dresser. You're perfectly morbid. No, not you. <laughs> How offensive. No. How perfectly morbid. Well. Isn't that great? Just to double check. Yes. Woohoo! The newsy! The newsy! Uh -huh. Oh, how very playful of you. Are you flirting with me? Oh, he dropped the scaries. Lovely! Well, that's it then. Sir Vincent is completed. So let's go and find all the blueprints he gave us. Let's not forget that he gave us the Aztec statue decorative, which I think I'm going to put straight into my house. Look, see, we've got our disco ball and our pizza, Poppy's fern decorative, um, the potty plant we've always had. So here it is. Uh, should we put that? Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, amen. Mm, spooky. So let's have a look then. A nice selection, again, of blueprints. Um, let's see what we have. So as rewards, he gave us the chair modern blueprint. And as another reward, he also gave us desk puzzle. That was his other reward. Now, we also gained other blueprints from him uh, as we went too, I think. The desk blueprint we received and of course the sarcophagus blueprint monster of a blueprint that one so all that was the only other thing that we gained today although we've gained loads is also sir vincent's gold finder's outfit of course which is now available in blala's dresser for her to wear any time to look a little bit creepy anyway so Next time, we get to finally start the star level twos. We shall pop into our uh, hotel and we'll see which of the commercial sims has turned up and we will get them completed. We'll make sure that we cover all the star level two commercial sims before we start hitting the level two um, town is for sure uh, Vic Vector Roxy Road with her ice cream store and of course Vic Vector has the arcade and Miss Nicole which um, I think is a fashion boutique type of place um, and Almira who's also one of my favorites along with Vic Vector because I also quite like studio she has uh, a library so I, qu I quite like that I do quite like that so it is time for bed ah she's sleeping now so we will see you with star level 2 we will be opening up an entire new area in star level 2 we'll also take a look at the blueprints that uh, you unlock at star level 2 so potentially quite a long episode we will see you then bye <laughs>